Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Real with Nabil. This is the show where we talk about new movies coming out in the cinemas in Doha this weekend and every weekend. Our first movie for today is called Life. Now we've had a lot of great movies about space in the last couple of years. Examples include Gravity, Interstellar, and The Martian. And this one probably ranks amongst the top. Starring Ryan Reynolds, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Rebecca Ferguson, it's directed by Daniel Espinosa. The short version is, it's a movie about a space crew that finds life on Mars. But it's a lot more than that, of course. Now we've seen many renditions of what extraterrestrial life could look like, from the classic Little Green Men to the giant squids that you recently saw in Arrival. In this film, it takes the form of Calvin, a single-celled organism with some crazy survival skills. It's gonna be a big custody battle over this one. Are you gonna bring the Martian back to Earth? No, we're gonna keep it up here, we're gonna study where it's safe. Look how fast it's growing. Every single cell is a muscle cell and a nerve cell. All muscle, all brain. How smart is this thing? The rest of the movie consists of a crew of very smart people making a lot of not so smart decisions, but that's what keeps it so interesting. With lots of drama and suspense and some very well developed characters, this is one film you don't want to miss. Next we have Autobahn, or Collide. This movie has an all-star cast where Nicholas Holt plays a reformed getaway driver who's forced to fall back on his old ways because of, well, love. And they called it puppy love. He needs to get some serious cash to buy a kidney for his girlfriend, played by Felicity Jones. So he goes to see his old mates and agrees to steal a shipment of drugs for a gangster with poor English skills and lots of swag, played by none other than banking. However, things get a little rough when he's caught by the drug smugglers and taken to their leader, a criminal kingpin played by Anthony Hopkins. I'd go back to what I was doing. I don't want you to do that for me. All I'm trying to do is protect you. You have come back. I knew it. You look tense. This film got a lot of big names and even more action, but with all of that put together, it's almost disappointing. Go watch it if you're a fan of high-speed action flicks, but don't blame us if you're not impressed. Next, we have a South African film. Now, you don't get to see many of those here, and this one's called Shepherds and Butchers. It's set during the height of apartheid in South Africa, where a young white prison guard embarks on a seemingly motiveless shooting spree that leaves seven black men dead. A British-born lawyer is assigned to the case, and he sets out to prove that the actions of the guard were a direct result of psychological trauma from his volatile workplace. I read in your file that you were a warder in the prison service. I suggest you find out what's in store for you. Ask them what happens on death row. 164 men were executed last year. I know what happens on death row. I was at all of the executions. He dragged the bodies over there and then he lined them up. He lined up the bodies? Why would he do that? These warders, they get to know the men that they're gonna hang. Anything worse than killing a stranger is killing someone you know. They threw this boy into hell at 17. It seems like a decent movie with some very serious subject matter. If you're interested in the history of that region, especially during the apartheid, or if you just want to explore South African cinema, then check this one out. Fans of manga. Rejoice. Because our next film for this week is Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions. In this film, Yugi and Kaiba have a special duel that transcends dimensions. Now this film is of course inclined to a specific audience, which we happen to think is a very positive thing about it. A lot of films these days try to please everyone and end up diluting their content. A select few, however, fearless, understand their fan base and give their fans exactly what they want, even if other people don't get it. This is one such film, because manga fans seem to love it. Not gonna happen. It's time to duel! You are finished! I think not! Unleash your rage, blue eyes! And if you grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh, here's some trivia for you. In Japan and some other countries, this film was released in 2016, which marked the 20th anniversary of Yu-Gi-Oh's debut in 1996, when it first appeared as manga. Next in our childhood icons turning into animated movies, we have Barbie Video Game Hero. 
In this movie, Barbie is a video game player and a programmer who gets sucked into her computer to defeat an evil virus. What follows is a crazy, trippy, colorful ride through the video game world. This film doesn't actually look that good, but I'm sure that kids will really enjoy it. So if your kids like to play with Barbie dolls, you know where to take them this weekend. Now to save the world, Barbie will transform from one level to the next and play to win. I need to beat every level of the game. But first, she'll have to win the race. Wow, the girl's got moves. She's good. And while we're in the flow, here's one more. If you want to be reunited with childhood memories, but neither Yu-Gi-Oh nor Barbie can do the trick for you, then we have... Go, go, Power Rangers! That's one childhood superhero team that I haven't heard of in a long, long time. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, this movie looks terrible. So where were you last night? Me and four kids found a spaceship buried underground. I'm pretty sure I'm a superhero. Cool. Pee in that cup. Our Rangers were a legion of warriors. You must become those warriors. It's just a hologram, like a video game. <laughs> I really, really want to go watch it. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure you hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to share it with your friends. Do check out our social media handles where there's always going to be cool stuff from the movie world coming at you from the Real with Nabil team. Also subscribe to our channel so you can catch us next Wednesday with a new episode where we talk about new films coming out in the cinemas in Doha this weekend and every weekend. <laughs>